Hi, we're Richard and Jackie from Early Retirement Wonderlust. If you've seen any of our previous videos, you will know that we absolutely believe in the mantra of less is more. So how do we actually resist the urge to buy more stuff? You'll have seen in our previous video on Less Is More how we try to focus on just simplifying our lives. We talk a lot about focusing more on less possessions and more experiences. But it's not easy and there is always the temptation to buy more stuff. So in this video we want to look at why we have that temptation to buy more stuff. We want to look at some of the ways that we can try and reduce that temptation to buy more stuff and then finally if we make the decision to buy more stuff how can we do that more intentionally so why do we feel the need to want to buy more stuff it's actually not our fault it's not even in our human nature it's actually something that we've been manipulated in over lots of time to think that it's something we need to do there is an element of human psychology that does encourage us to buy because when we buy things we have a bit of a chemical release within our brain of endorphins and dopamine which make us feel really good which is why we have that feeling when we buy something we have that little rush afterwards that quickly diminishes but it's still there. But in reality, a large proportion of why we want to buy things is down to big business versus little us. Big businesses literally spend millions of pounds every year to encourage us to buy more. And we are constantly being bombarded by thousands of adverts every day. Ironically, just by watching this YouTube video, you will have adverts on. With social media being a constant presence in our life, we are freely giving of our attention to the social media companies and they give us their services in return. So Facebook and Instagram doesn't cost us anything to join up, but those companies are actually harvesting our attention, packaging it up and selling it on to advertisers, which we are therefore exposed to as an everyday part of our life. And as a consequence of that, the pressure to keep up with the Joneses or compare ourselves with others has never been greater and in fact I think we all feel the pressure to be a little bit better and in reality the images that we are chasing are not actual real life the real life is what we're living now not what is represented on Facebook or Instagram and it's never been easier to buy stuff. We have the technology at our fingertips 24 hours a day, whether we're just sitting on the sofa, lying in bed to order whatever we want. When we were growing up, it was so much more difficult. You had to go to the shops that were only open nine till five. I remember the days when John Lewis used to close on a Sunday and a Monday because they were a partnership looking after their staff and you couldn't spend your money as easily. In our modern society, there is definitely a feeling of more is better. So the more stuff we have, the more we can show our affluence. And whether we like that or not, that is something that definitely influences our thought process. So what is less is more? For us, it certainly doesn't mean that we never buy things. We are very intentional when we do buy something to make sure it's something that we really need and perhaps want a little bit. For us, we want to make sure that we have the time for more experiences rather than more materialistic things. Potential purchases come into two groups, the things that we want and then the things that we really need. The want list can be absolutely endless. And again, it comes down to this social pressure of wanting more things. Whereas actually, if we pull things back to the real basic bare bones, we actually need very little. So we need shelter, we need warmth, we need food. There are certain things in our life that are absolutely essential and then there are other things that are optional extras that we sometimes get confused with and suddenly think that they are absolute needs. For us, our aim is to be more intentional with our purchases and less impulsive. But how do we do that? So the first thing we need to work out is the thing that we're looking at, is it something that we really want or is it something that we really need? An example is our iPhones that we do all of our video recording from. We might want the new latest version because it might be slightly better, but do we need it? So far, we've resisted the temptation and we're still working from our 
five-year-old iPhone 11 Pros. Rather than going for an impulsive purchase and buying it there and then, we try and make sure that there's a period of time where we wait. And if we still think in a week's time that we want to buy that thing, then it's probably a better purchase than something that we just buy impulsive. It'll come as no surprise that I have sort of automated that system in the fact that I have a shopping list on Amazon that is constantly updated. And when I find something online that I might want to buy, I just pop it onto that shopping list. And then I purposely don't make that purchase and it stays on the shopping list. And 90% of the stuff that's on that shopping list will never get bought because it would have been just simply an impulsive purchase. When we're making a purchase, we try and think about what experiences that purchase might bring us. So for example, when we buy a ferry or a plane ticket, we know that we're going to have the most amazing time doing something for weeks. Whereas for the same price, I might want to buy a handbag, which I might like, but it's not going to give me those experiences that being on a great holiday would. Have you already got something and you are just simply upgrading to make sure that you've got the latest version of it? Or have you got something within the house that does exactly the same job of the thing that you are wanting to buy? Are you simply replacing it because you want a newer model? Or are you replacing it because it's broken? For example, our waterproofs, they're now two or three years old. They work perfectly fine. I've seen ones that I like better, but I don't need them, so I'm not going to replace them. Up until this year, I've never felt the need to buy ski boots because we've only ever skied one week a year and there was absolutely no reason to do that. Whereas this year we went out and did nearly half a season skiing so it was cost effective and probably sensible to buy my own set of ski boots. One of the things we ask ourselves before we make a purchase is will it bring us joy? For example the coffee machine behind us, we bought it during lockdown. It's probably one of the most expensive purchases that we've made on a kitchen item and it seemed quite frivolous at the time but we really have had lots of joy from it. Every morning we make one or two coffees each and we love the coffee that we have. Just like the coffee machine, a frivolous item that I bought was a set of Falraven Keb trousers. I actually bought those as a reward for doing a dry January two or three years ago. And those trousers are probably the most expensive trousers I've ever bought, but they are absolutely bomb proof. And three years on, they are still like new and I wear them all the time. So for me, that was a really quite sensible purchase. All of the things that we've talked about so far are skills that we've practiced over lots of time and we have got much better at doing them. If we are buying something, then something within our house needs to go and that way you sort of keep on top of your purchases and it makes you think a little bit more about what you're bringing into your house and into your life. Once we've made a decision to purchase, the next thing we do is to try and make sure that we get best value. So we do that by shopping around, seeing the prices on the internet and comparing them thinking about whether we could go for an own brand alternative to something that is perhaps more expensive, that still does the same job, and definitely thinking about whether we are buying the label or whether we are buying the product, and there's a big difference between the two. With many of our purchases, we do consider quality over quantity. You may have noticed, I don't have many jumpers. I tend to wear just this one that I absolutely love. It was expensive, it's lasted really well. My sister always jokes that whenever she sees a video of me, I've only got one jumper on. It's because I bought a quality jumper. Having made our decision to retire early with a much reduced income to our household, we want to and we have to think about the mantra, less is more. We have to make sure that when we buy things, that it is really intentional. We have to buy things that we need rather than things that we want. And for us, the majority of what we spend our money on is travel experiences because that's what we feel is really important to us at the moment. But keeping the budget on track is never easy. And there is no right and wrong answer to this. It's a very individual decision that you've got to come up with. And we wrangle with these decisions all of the time and it doesn't get any easier. But it is the fact that it is an intentional decision and that we are making the right call for us at the right time. So that's it from us. See you later. Bye.